Kinshasa is the Democratic Republic of Congo's largest city. It is also its capital and is bordered by the Congo River. It is located southwest of the country and is ranked as one of the poorest countries in the world. However, it is one of the richest in terms of minerals. In our project, we decided to help the less fortunate of this country. TASA, the American School of Kinshasa, is an international school situated in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. 303 students formed the student body, and 42 teachers enabled great education. One of the school's main aims is to empower each of its students to develop into independent global community leaders. In collaboration with the International Baccalaureate, TASA is able to provide dynamic and individualized educational challenges and opportunities that promote diversity. The individuals that created this project are Axel, Joanna, Jessica, Jade, Emma, Emmanuel, and Michael. We were inspired by the Christmas season and decided to create a donation drive at school. We encouraged students, parents, and teachers to donate any items to the Coke Orphanage. Our goal was to provide joy to the children living in the Coke Orphanage during the Christmas season. We have known the existence of the Cock Orphanage through one of our TASAC teachers, who had adopted a son there. We have therefore been able to easily get in contact with the Orphanage and plan a first visit which had as a goal to familiarize ourselves with the environment and meet the Orphanage staff. We then started gathering the donations. They went from toys to books, really anything that we could get from the TASAC community. The second and last visit had as a goal to give our donations to the orphanage. We also had the occasion on that second visit to talk to the kids. Challenges we faced and changes that were made as a result. COVID-19 restrictions are one of our biggest challenges. We couldn't play with, spend time with, or get to know the kids as much as we would have hoped to due to the pandemic risks and restrictions. Due to the pandemic, school closed earlier than expected, so we couldn't get as many donations in terms of quantity as we planned. We then decided to go visit the orphanage and deliver the donations towards the end of the break, or vacation. But because of the timing, some of our group members could not be present. There are two ways our project connects to the theme of change. Firstly, through our project, we wanted to use resources we had available to us to do what we could to help an orphanage. This is because many children face various hardships within the DRC. Focusing only on child survival, for example, approximately 290,859 children under the age of 5 die yearly in the DRC. While we knew that it was not possible for us to tackle all issues that children within the DRC faced, we thought we could perhaps have some impact by offering some help to people who dedicated themselves to helping abandoned children. Our project also changed the perception we had of orphans within the city of Kinshasa. This is because before completing this project, they were primarily to us statistics. We did not know any of them personally and had never had much interaction with them. This project changed this, however, as we now had faces and names to tie to, tie to when thinking about orphans and orphanages. We no longer thought of generic orphanages and their issues, but instead thought specifically of the cult orphanage and the specific issues it faced. This project, therefore, changed our perception of both orphans and orphanages within the city of Kinshasa.